Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna, yeah, show you the parts of a microscope. Um, I'm just gonna read you this and then I'll tell you the parts, um, the parts of the microscope, okay? The most familiar type of microscope is the standard light microscope. The base and arm are usually one single piece of cast metal. The arm is the correct place to grip the microscope when carrying it while supporting the base with the palm of your hand. The stage is a platform that supports the specimen to be observed. The stage has a hole in its center to allow light to pass through, so specimens must be positioned over the top of this hole. You can control how much light goes through the specimen by adjusting the diagraph. It has range of 1 to 5 with 5 being the most light. Since any slight movement of the specimen is magnified many times, this slide is usually held down by a pair of stage clips. Light microscopes use either a bulb or a mirror as their light source. Never use direct sunlight, it may damage your eyes. The switch for this light is usually found on the base of the microscope and sometimes on the power cord. After the light has passed through the specimen, it enters the objective lens, often called objective for short. The shortest of the three obje objectives is the scanning power objective lens and has power of four times. The second objective is the low power objective, which is almost always made to produce a magnification of ten times. The high power objective lens has a magnification of 40 times. The body tube allows the light from the objective to pass upward to form the first magnified image. That image is further magnified by the eyepiece or ocular. The eyepiece is usually 10 times. When an image is formed, it is usually magnified twice. First, the image is formed at the bottom by the objective lens. Then the image is projected through a tube and magnified again by the eyepiece at the top. The image is always upside down so when you see through a microscope shows up as the opposite of what you are doing. Any moment of the object, object also shows up in the opposite way. When you move an object to the right it appears to move to the left and you, when, when you move it up the image moves down. The total magnification obtained is a product of the eyepiece times that of the objective lens. You can easily switch objectives by turning the rotating nose piece. The course adjust adjustment knob is larger on your microscope. You will use this primarily to focus on your specimen. Do not use the course adjustment knob on high power 40 times. It will crack your slide. The fine adjustment knob is also for minute focusing. You can use this after you have focused with the course adjustment knob. The top part of the microscope that supports the ocular lens and the objective lens is not labeled on your image. Okay guys, so now that I've finished reading that to you, now I'm going to show you the parts of a microscope. A, right here, is the eyepiece. Again, this right here, this little tiny thing, is called the eyepiece. You look through that. This long rod right here, it's called the body tube. Again, that's called the body tube. And G is pointing to the arm. That's where you hold it from when you're carrying your microscope. You hold it with your hand and put your other hand on the bottom of the base so you don't drop it. Okay, so G is the arm. E is the nose piece. I have no idea why they call it the nose piece, but that is called the nose piece. F is called the low power objective times 10. So it has zoom of times 10. So you can rotate that nose piece and you can point them at the stage through that little hole and it'll just zoom it in even more. Okay, N is the scanning power objective times four. So you can zoom in four times as much as the normal kind. Okay, and 
H is the high power objective and it's times 40. So you can zoom in 40 times really, really, really. That's like really, really zoomed in. Okay, so this, what I is pointing to is the stage with the little hole in it. So you so it goes down and you point down and then you have your like little, um, your little, uh, what's it called? Slide. You put it through, um, on here, and you have that little circle where that little organism or whatever is in, and the light shines through. It bounces back and goes back in the microscope where you can see the image. Okay. So J is pointing to the stage clips. These these little things are called the stage clips. You put the slide under them and it holds it in place. Okay. And K is the di diagraph, diaphragm or whatever. Okay, diaphragm. Right here, where K is pointing to. M is called the light source. This is the light source. Okay. And B is pointing to the coarse adjustment knob. Coarse adjustment knob. D is pointing to the fine adjustment knob. Fine adjustment knob. L is pointing to the base. So yeah, this is the base, and this is also part of the base too. Okay. Um, I think that's yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you learned. Hope you learned really good on about microscopes, and stay in school.